What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to my new Let's Play. That's an old Let's Play, but you know, it all kind of works. This is actually a replay of Pitfall of Lost Expedition. Holy crap. I am so excited and shocked by myself to be doing this, because I just kind of had this idea on a whim. Hey, my four-year anniversary of Let's Playing is coming up. Which, by the way, I created my channel uh, four years ago as of yesterday. And if you saw the trailer I posted yesterday uh, of this game, which I kind of just posted on a whim when I was test recording, uh, I'm, I'm going to be replaying this from start to beginning, and I figured, you know, what better way to celebrate uh, four years of posting? Actually, I posted this, like, f exactly four years ago today. So I, I opened up my channel four years ago as of yesterday, and, um, play and I started posting this game as of today, four years ago. <laughs> so... Why am I replaying this? Well, I now have much, much, much better recording software. Um, I'm actually recording this with my Elgato HD. So, I mean, it doesn't record in HD. I mean, this is only a 480p game. I'm uploading in 720p glory! Uh, it'll mostly just make the sidebars look a little bit more pretty. And I think it will make this game look a bit better recording in 720. Um, so, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Another big flaw in my last Let's Play of this game was... Uh, I only had 11 minute time limit, or 11, yeah, 11 minutes time limit on YouTube that I could post. So anything over 11 minutes, like, I had to cut down the video, cut things out, or, like, uh, speed up the entire video by a little bit. Which, I mean, isn't really that noticeable, but it is in some points. I don't really like that very much. Pitfall, Lost Expedition, woo! Uh, it's also really great to redo one of my favorite games from my childhood. My One of my first games from my childhood, actually. This is my very first GameCube game I ever got, and my GameCube was my very first console. So, it's really exciting to do this again. Um, I'm gonna kinda, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know if I'm gonna act like I played this game before and like kinda do spoiler and like talk about spoilers. I don't think I'm gonna do that, because I actually did just try recording this and I accidentally spoiled something like in the first five minutes and look it's a flaming jaguar whoa and I have three fingers well four if you include my thumb I guess I'm so badass just just because that jaguar and his growling snarling face so yeah I'm recording this is a GameCube game and normally I couldn't record GameCube games but I actually bought something uh, that would allow me to whoa did I just do two damage two hearts of damage Ow. Uh, but, so I was really skeptical of whether it worked or not, but it is. It's working pretty good, actually. It took a while to figure out how to do it. Whoa! Don't you dare touch me, you little bubble. Oh, you know what I just realized? You can do a spin kick when you jump once, but not when you jump twice. See, I'll try. No, it's not working. That's that's crazy. I've never noticed that before. Ow. So, we're just thrust right into the game here. It's flaming Jaguar. I don't freaking know what's going on. Why is it a flaming Jaguar? Why are my hands glowing blue? What have the blue glows? Why does nothing make sense? What can I walk on this lava? No, I can't. It's a wall! It's a wall! It's a wall! I will stab you! <sighs> yeah! And I killed his face off. Yeah! And I oh no, he's still alive! Don't touch me, you guy. I have to figure out again. No! I always thought the back of his backpack that it looked like the Jaguar's claws. I don't know why. Just punch him with your they blue glowing hands. Like you did over and over again. Fire is about to terminate your existence. Your life flashes before your eyes. Actually, no one says that. Not a lot of people have experience with giant demon jaguars. Is it a demon jaguar, or is it a flaming demon jaguar? There's no subtitles in this game, unfortunately. And as of yesterday, neither did I. But that was before I met Bittenbinder. Bernard Bittenbinder. PhD, to be precise. Thought we'd get introduced, since the only ones on this plane to South America seems to be you and my group you of- You found that Toltec crystal skull, and discovered that light when shined through it actually slows down. That research wasn't ever published. Who are you? Harry. Most people call me... It's fall here. Oh, uh, yeah. So you assume I'm like most people. What are you doing? Turning on the charm. This is my medium set. I love that! It's so awesome. <laughs> There's no subtitles, unfortunately, so I just have to be quiet. Charm's getting to you, huh? Drink cutscenes. <laughs> oh, no! 
Uh oh. Bad news, birds. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about this. Where's Nicole? There's only one shoot left. What are you? Let me go. Now you're Mr. Macho, saving a woman while you died for her in the cold night. In the hot night. Huh. Ah! Whoa! Was that parachute even on her back? Would she look over it? Oh man. We're the ones that have to die. So, I'm gonna try and keep these episodes somewhat short. Maybe around like the 15 minute mark instead of going like 20 minutes as they normally do. Um, just for one, to make this game last longer, and two, to stay true to how I played it my last time around. Since this is a pretty short game. I mean, especially for this, and look, we survived! <gasps> Somehow. Oh, there's, there's fireworks going off! There's fireworks, you guys! Whoa, look at this, so beautiful. <laughs> My first instinct was to come over here and cut the grass, look at Zelda. It, look very, it does look very much like, um... Like, uh, not Skyward Sword, freaking Wind Waker grass, doesn't it? So yeah, there's, a uh, camera. It's weird. I'm used to the C-Stick being camera, but it's not in this game. It is absolutely not. It makes me grab things. Whoa! Alright, there's a pit? That- What? And the monkeys! Why would you dangle over a pit, monkey? That's a bad idea. That you die when you do- Whoa, the- Ow! Well then. Um, okay, the strange pits. I mean, what if these are real? Just look at- they have teeth! Why- Do they have teeth?! I was gonna say, I better not die. Double jump, a, a yeah. I actually don't really mind this tutorial at all. It's it's very quick, and I kind of just jumped in there on purpose. It's weird because that's the only pit in this game that one stays open. Well, that's not true. There are others, and but in two, it's not a bottomless pit. It's just like a little pit. I don't even know why it has like teeth in the first one. Are these actually teeth? Let's, let's take a. Like, I guess. Whoa! I'm seeing through the world. <laughs> There's blue mist. Wait, what? What are these? I don't freaking. Can I just jump up there? No. Can I like? No. <laughs> I was like, can I just break the game? No. Um, I haven't really even played this game very much since I let's played it, which is crazy to think it was so long ago. Whoa! And see what that it stays open. Here? Yeah. I got it. So get used to seeing these crazy idol statues. Holy crap! Oh hey, look, there's one up there actually. But it'll be, we're not gonna get this for a long while. And these tracks always confuse me. I'm like, what is? Oh, actually, this is the plane. No, sorry, these tracks right here. Look at this. There's a monkey. There's a monkey. Are you ready to punch the monkey in the face? <laughs> it's okay. He just knocked out. You could tell with his tongue hanging out, so he's not gonna choke on his own tongue. So this is actually really cool. I've never really even noticed this before, but you can see that there's something with tracks here that somehow has the ability to go straight up walls what the heck man I don't understand how that works <laughs> and I guess I came out of here I never really thought that before oh it totally does you can see the tracks where it started that's cool wow I never noticed that before <gasps> break the pots break the pots yeah I will break smash you all the pots <laughs> always so fun snap the camera Z and hold it to look around, so yeah, that, that stuff's pretty obvious. I will punch this metal door stupidly, I don't know why, but... <laughs> okay, so he picked up the floor with an idol, and then there's these guys throwing coconuts? Okay, let me free the explorer. Oh, there was an explorer on the plane, of course! I will kick your idol. And they say some crazy stuff, I think he said that in English. Explorer idols are worth five regular ones, so the one we collected before was just one, and that explorer one was worth five, which is really weird. I don't know why they did it like that. Yeah, this is the healing water, by the way. Just touch it. <laughs> You'll be seeing a lot of those in this game. Ah, oh, it's flaming tiki's! Oh, they're, they, they're helpful. They point stuff out. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty cool. I do like that. It's, very, like, it's an innovative way to like point to the next level. Well, I don't know if innovative is the right way or not. Little froggies! Oh! What was that? Piranha? Piranha! <laughs> uh, press A to swim rapidly! Go, 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 go. <sighs> Well, there's a waterfall over there, and crocodiles or alligators over here. I, n I never know which one's which. I think, uh, uh, I think there's actually two different kinds in this game, actually. I don't really even know how to tell the difference. I kind of remember there being, like, called reference as two different things. 
Oh, you know what? That's because there's, there's some in the water and then there's some in another place. <laughs> so these guys are actually useful platforms, oddly enough. <laughs> it's like, I would not want to use one of these guys. But, uh, yeah, of course, there's a, there's a freaking waterfall. So of course there's gonna be something underground here. Let's go to the underground cavern or whatever this is called. Hmm. Water doesn't look safe. Uh, well, that's kind of spoilers. I'm gonna need a raft. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna be getting a boat. I'm gonna be buying a boat from somebody. Let's go up here. I really do like how we find like little airplane parts throughout the entire game. Well, not through the entire game. For a little while, we'll be finding those, and that's pretty cool to see. There's a cargo thing here. Uh, oh, whoa, really? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. When this happens. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's just, his arms are flailing away. I don't think there's a way, because it, it's very, it's time-based. The longer you stay in his mouth, the more damage you take. I don't think there's a way for you to get out quick enough that you take more damage. Look! It's ancient statues! Break them all! <laughs> oh, you thought you could escape me, evil statue? I will punch these rocks apart. So, something a little useful. These bulls are a little bit hungry. Oh, no! Huh. So, let's cross the monkey in it, and for some reason, it stays closed! Yay! And as you saw there, when these guys wake up, they start howling, and all their buddies in the trees start throwing cocoon nuts at you. <laughs> ah, cocoon nuts. Oh, into the canyon you go. Whee! <laughs> I love it. It's so great. Um, there we go. Oops. No, I want, I want it this way. What the heck? Uh, sir, wake up the shaman. Well, let's do it. Buddy, wake up! <laughs> I'll give you a handy if you wake up. Uh, he's just sleeping. Okay, I'll just punch him, I guess. This is Waka Waka Miramah! Which is really strange. Uh, we have eight aisles already. So, here's our menu of the game where you buy stuff. Extra health, canteen max, which can't do anything with that yet. Smash strike. These two are, or these three, sorry, are actually different moves. Uh, the notes are maps. And the mystery item is a mystery. I think we'll be seeing another guy before the mystery item becomes relevant. So let's buy some extra health, shall we? With this curious magic, the shaman can make me healthier than I've ever been before. Pretty handy. What with all the nasties roaming these parts. Nasties. Who says nasties? That's silly. And then it heals you. <laughs> I was a little dance too. Ha! 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 Oh yeah! Um, alright, let's head on over yonder. I love how you can distinctively see where you die if you jump off. Like, you, know, you, can, you can see on that platform over there, like, where the mist starts. Oh, I love the views of this game too. Just look at that, it's so beautiful. It would be cool if you go down there and there's just nothing down there but death. <laughs> there's millions of enemies just ready to murder your face. Looks like I'll need TNT to blow this out. Mm, TNT. Maybe I'll find some later and come back. Yeah, so I guess we'll be coming back later at some point. This kind of cool. There's like this little path here. I guess it just, it's crumbled over time. I don't know. I wonder how that's blocked up though. It's weird. And now we're gonna like this game's evil, man. It's really evil. It makes you destroy ancient artifacts and junk. And you wonder why there's an evil ghost following you trying to murder you. But that's not really a thing. Oh no! Oh, oh god! <laughs> so jumping on these guys can be weird sometimes. You like jump on them, but you'll be kind of on the slide, so they oddly slide off. Kind of like how I almost did there. Jump on his tail. I don't feel like I don't feel like these guys would support you, especially if you jump on their tail. I don't think you if you jumped on them, they go. <coughs> Like for like five seconds before they try to eat you. And yeah, it can roll to a perfect ball. It's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> uh, the punch house. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's spikes that I can barely see. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. I'll roll under you. Uh, things gonna be more. Oh. I feel like there's snakes. Whoa. Oh man, this is really dark. I don't really like how dark this is. So, as per typical OCD style I have to break all these you'll see like these like stone ones stay floating in the air for some reason I mean they're not even supported I don't understand oh no they are they are well that's cool whoa careful there Link I don't know why I want to call them I've been playing to them right there. oh man it's so dark oh no I've fallen and I can't get up I was gonna say this thing better not respond 
please respond. I can't see junk all. <laughs> junk all. What am I seven? I don't like the how the camera is. It's it's really weird trying to get used to having non C stick controls. All right, let's go underneath here. Oh no, we can't go back. We will never be able to go back. Oh, nice. You jumped off a ledge. I don't know if you guys didn't. Oh, I totally shot about the mission. Whoa! There's a bush ninja. There's a bush ninja. Oh. Well, okay then. That was really easy. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't need to buy the mystery item. Because actually the mystery item pertains to this little shrine right here. However, we'll see. There's a there's a web here blocking it away, and I don't know why we just can't go through it, but we cannot. Um hmm. If you listen carefully in the background, you can hear something going off. So these these weird metal switches or these stone switches. If you saw in the background, there's something moved. Like you hear things opening up. And what this is, it's just timed platforms. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And pretty easy puzzle, to be honest. Just jump on the switches, go up. Preferably not like that. Because then, yeah, you gotta watch that super slow animation of you crawling up a ledge. That's really annoying to watch, but. <laughs> uh, whoa. So this is kind of higher or lower than normal. Oh! I don't think I knew about that. Yeah, there's a little what? Wow, that's I don't know if I ever knew about. Well, I guess I probably should have known about that. Like, there's a secret idol in here. Yay! Well, I guess we're gonna head into this cave in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this let's play, this replay. I uh, hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. In the next one, we'll head down into the depths. Look, I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll head down into the depths. Oh, I'm scared. Are you scared? You should probably be scared as we look into the tree. Whoa, did I just... What is that? I just... What is that shiny? That really, like, white thing. Is that a skeleton? It's moving. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye! Say bye, Pitfall Harry! Bye-bye! That's how he says goodbye. He doesn't know how to wave. He wasn't trained.